You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my review for Scream. Now, before we get into this review, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. Scream is a 2022 slasher horror film that takes place 25 years after the events of the original Scream. And to commemorate the anniversary, a new killer donning the ghost face mask sets out on a brutal set of murders in Woodsboro, bringing citizens both new and old alike together once again to face off with the famed masked murderer. Oh, I'm a 90s baby. I was born in the early 90s. Thus, I think it's virtually impossible for me to not love Scream. While I had seen scary movies before, Scream was truly the first scary movie that felt like mine, like one I could truly relate to, one that I could get behind. It kind of felt like that first classic since I was able to watch horror films. And so I have always had a special connection to Ghostface, Sydney, and the rest of the gang in this franchise. Not to mention, one of the most consistent horror franchises to date. Honestly, I don't think any of them are bad, though three does toe the line. But other than that third film, the others are all really solid slashers. So although Wes Craven has passed on and obviously, and thus obviously could not be a part of this project, I was still very excited to see what new imagining we could have with this requel. <laughs> and I have to say, I freaking loved it. Oh, so good. So let's go ahead and talk about those positives first. So, although Wes Craven was obviously not part of the making of this latest Scream film, it is just this beautiful homage and love letter to the iconic franchise he created. Honestly, it's a pretty direct love letter straight to the original Scream. It just wonderfully brings all of the ingredients that so many of us love about this franchise and blends them into this new imagining. It is meta as hell. Like, <laughs> I would say the most meta of the entire Scream franchise. Now, it is a bit heavy-handed. It does lay it on a little bit thick. But overall, I thought it was a really fun skewering of our current day cultural landscape. It did really do what that original Scream did for the slasher genre in the 90s and took it to all of Hollywood in 2022. And it worked beautifully well. We're tackling toxic fan bases. We're tackling sequels, reboots, requels. We're tackling all of it here, and I thought all of the commentary was really fun and quite funny. But it keeps that atmosphere. Ghostface is once again getting the hell beat out of him the entire film. <laughs> One of my own personal favorite aspects of this slasher franchise is Ghostface is always a real person, and thus, yeah. When they're in these battles and these fights with the victims, they get whooped. <laughs> and that stays true here. But this film actually upped the ante when it came to the kills themselves. Because let me tell you, Ghostface has never been this brutal. These kills were on a different level than we've seen in the series before. And I loved it. We do not shy away the piercing, from the blood, from the crunch, all of it is right there <laughs> in glorious fashion. I am here for brutal R-rated ghost face. And I thought they blended together the old cast and the new, the legacies and the new blood all coming together here. And it worked really well. They set up these new characters beautifully and found a nice way to bring 
the old folks back into the fold. They paid great respect to these legacy characters while not having them overbear on the fresh new story being told. It was a really well done balance, I believe. Honestly, when I'm talking about the kills, when I'm talking about the characters, when I'm talking about the commentary, it just blends everything I love about the series together to make a really fun update to the Scream lore. So then, what doesn't work quite so well when it comes to Scream? Well, the only real problems I have are, one, it's quite predictable, actually. I will say, once again, the meta commentary calls itself out and calls out the franchise right down to the repeat name. But it does lead to some predictability in the overall script and storyline. Also, the third act gets a little bit over the top, though personally, I enjoy it. But with the twists or turns or zigs and zags, if you will, some of the pieces don't quite line up as we're moving throughout the film and lead to a slightly sloppy final act. Also, some of the framing in the way it was shot was just a tad strange. We have the directors from Ready or Not, another really funny, fun, smart slasher. And I just think here they tried to frame it too tight, too often. But overall, I freaking loved Scream. I cannot wait to go back and revisit this one again. It's a wonderful skewering of the pop cultural landscape that I'm sure is going to make lots of fanboys very mad. And if it does, then it's done its job. But it's fun, it's gruesome, it's everything you are looking for in a good Scream film. So if you're a fan of this franchise, give this a full price ticket. I think you're going to have a blast. And if you're just looking for a fun horror slasher this January, as the rest of the world falls apart around you, well, Scream delivers just that. So that is my review for Scream. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Scream or have you already seen it? If you have, let me know your thoughts either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.